Welcome to Math with Niles. Today we'll be doing multiplication using column method. Hi Niall. This is the first time we'll be doing this topic. We've got six questions behind you. We're going to start with the first question. Can you read it out for us? 43 times 2. And before you start working on that question, have you got any message to the kids watching us from home? Um, if you like, you can get a piece of paper and a pe pencil or a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen and you can do the questions with me and try and get them right. Can you repeat that first question again? 43 times 2. So what are you going to do now? Um, so, the way you do it is you do 3 times 2. So and then what column are you starting with? Always start with the unit. Okay, so you're going to start with the units column, 3 times 2. Yes, and 3 times 2 is 6. So that means I'll get a 6, I'll put it here, and then we do the same but with the 4. 4 times 2. Okay, before you do the 4 times 2, how do you know where to put the 6? Um, under the columns, um, under the units column because... It's the units column. Okay, so you have to put you are multiplying the units by the two, so you have to put the answer under the units yes. column. Okay, good. So you said you would continue it four times two. Um, f and then four times two is eight. So I'll put an eight underneath here. Okay. So the answer is eighty-six. Okay, very good. How? Why did we get 80 something though? Do you, can you explain because that Because the, the 4 is actually 40. So it's 4 tens? Yeah, 4 tens. Okay, so you are actually times in 40 times 2 to yes. get 80. But we don't say that, we just say yeah. 4 times 2. Good. Can you now take the lead in the second question? Um, so we'll be doing the same thing, just zero. So. We'll do 0 times 3, and 0 times anything is always 0. So we'll put a 0 here, and then 6 times 3. So 2 times 6 is 12. And then, three, and then 12 add 6 is 18. So that means we would put a 18 here. Okay, so let's see the 18. Okay, so because that 18 was two digits, one of them ended up going into the hundreds column. Yes. So what is the answer to 60 times 3? 180. Very good. 72 times 4. So we'll do 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, so you started with the units column. Yeah. And then 7 times 4, uh, so 2 times 7 is 14, and then 2 times 14 is 28, so we'll put a 28 here. Um, so 84 times 5. 4 mm -hmm. times 5 is 20. That's a bit different. What's happened there? Oh, wait. wait. It's, um, it's two digits instead of one digit. So what are we going to do? Um, carry. We're going to carry. So it's very important that we put the units in the units position. So you said 4 times 5 is? 4 times 5 is 20. 20. Can you get your pen and can you just write down the 20 underneath the number anywhere you want, just for us to have a discussion about the 20. Very good. So you have the 20. Now, which one of those two numbers is the units? The zero. That's the one that we have to put in the units. And then, yeah. So, uh, in, we always, and then... But the one that we carry over, which is the 2, mm -hmm. we always add that after with times. Very good. So can you write the 2 on top of the 8 so we can see that 2 that we've carried? With my pen? 
Yes? Okay, good. So you said we have to we have to add the two on after we multiply. What are you going to multiply next? We're doing eight times five. Okay. So four times five is twenty, and then eight is double four. So that means twenty plus twenty is forty. So eight times five is forty. Can yeah. you just check that just in case? People at home didn't get that. Can you just do 8 times 5 on your fingers, just to make sure? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Excellent. So 8 times 5 is 40, so yes. you're absolutely correct. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to put 40 there? No, I'm going to put 42, because we're adding on the 2. Excellent. So can you repeat the question and include the answer for us? Um, eight, 84 times 5 equals 420. Brilliant, no. So 59 times 6. So where are you going to start? With 9 times 6. 9 times 6. Now you don't know 9 times 6 off the top of your head. So no. what you need to do is think of an easy way you can work out 9 times 6. So, 3 times 6 is 18, mm -hmm. and then 3 goes into 9 3 times, so that means we'll have to triple 16, I mean triple 18. 18. That's very complicated. Can you try and find an easier connection? Do you need a clue? Yeah. What about 10 times 6? Oh, 10 times 6 is 60. And then take away 6. Because you have one lot of 6 less, 9 times 6. So do that way, explain again, start from 10 times 6. 10 times 6 is 60. So that means, and then 60 take away 6 is 54. Excellent, good job. So what are you going to do with that 54? Um, so 54. Okay, so what are you going to do with the 54 now? And then the 4 is the unit, so I'll put the 4 here. And then we'll rub out that 4. And what happens to the 5? The 5 will be added on after we times it. So After we times the tens, good. Yes. Okay, so can you put your pen down, do the calculation? What comes next? Um, 5 times 6, well 6 times 5 is 30, 30. It's 30, correct. Yeah. And then 35, because okay. we have to add on the 5. Very good. Fifty-nine. Oh, you can leave that 5 in, that 5 is very important. Okay. Especially when you do the work for your teacher, you, your teacher wants to see what you've carried when he's checking. So go yeah. ahead. So, 59 times 6 equals 354. Very good now. 87 times 8. Okay, and what are you going to start with? Um, I'm going to start with the units. Which is? 7 times 8. Good. So how are you, you don't know 7 times 8 is straight away. So no, what can but you I do you? know what 7 times 7 is. Do you? What is yeah. 7 times 7? 49. Very good, that is correct. So how is 7 times 7 going to help you to work out that question? I'm going to add on an 7. Okay, because you're doing 8 lots of 7 yes. instead of 7 lots of 7. So what yeah. will the answer be? So 49 and 7 equals 56. Excellent. Um, so I have to write, uh, wait. Well, now sorry. that you know what you're doing, why don't you just put the number in yeah. the unit? So the 6 and then carry the 5. Yes. Because we always have to show our teacher that we carried. Yes. Doesn't matter if we didn't do it. With the rubbing out. That's fine, yes, yeah. we've showed enough working there. So, 8 times 8 
Ooh, is 61? Like... No, close. Are you trying to remember those squared numbers? Yeah. 62? Oh, you're guessing now. <laughs> it's not 62. Uh, no, I forgot. Have you forgotten? Yeah. Well, why don't you try and use another method? Um, what Should I show you a new method? Yeah. Why don't you do 5 times 8? And then add on... 3 times 8, because... It... Oh, yeah. So what is 5 times 8? Um, 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, so you have 40. Take your pen and write 40 down so you don't forget. 40. Okay, and then you need to do 3 times 8. So what's 3 lots of 8? Um, 16 is 2 times 8, plus 4 is 20, and then plus another 4 is 24. Okay, so 3 times 8 is 24, so put the yes. 24 with the 40. Wait, I mean, 40, 4, 4, 0, and 24, 2, 4, equals... Um, 0 plus 4 equals 4, and then 4 plus 2 equals 6, so 64. Very good, so 8 times 8 is 64, so are you going to put 64 on that line? No! What are you going to do? I'm going to add the 5, All right, go on which then. is 69. Excellent, so you want to grab your numbers? Yes. Oh, wait, 69 did we say? You did. Okay, 69. So can you tell us the question and the answer? 87 times 8 equals 696. Excellent, Niall. Brilliant. And that comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe now. Bye!